Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is another garage sale video and I got some pretty good stuff to share with you guys. Got some toys, got some clothes, got some, I got some bolos that you guys probably have no idea are worth money. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is a pretty cool video. So here we go. What's up, man? What's up? Oh, that's it. That Morning. That down when... Oh, that's that's mine. This one right here. Alright. <laughs> Morning. I'm gonna make a little pile up here, is that okay? Okay. Claim your space. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to my cat through the door too. <laughs> they are. So I haven't ran him the other weekend. Are you grabbing grace fall? Nah, I don't want to mess with it. I'll just be sitting here. Just be sitting there. Castle Grace call. I think I'm ready. Okay. So you get price of bar, I think it's five and ten. Yeah. And then these Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Why don't you just everything up on the steps? Twenty and two for the that clothing up this way. Um, 25, take it all. Sounds good. All right. Okay. Thanks, man. No problem. Does 
she doesn't. Oh. oh, Lex, on your bucket. It's just a. Yeah, I'll do that. That'd be a lot easier. What's your name? Mike. Mike. Gotcha. I'm Ken. Excuse me. Yep. You won't beat anywhere. Golf balls? Five bucks. They're, um, they're a dollar I'm so sorry. It's okay. Go inside, guys. <laughs> oh, pets. I'll give you all pets. <laughs> I'll do 10 on those. What about for the boxing shoes? Uh, boxing shoes, I'll do 20 on those. They're Venoms. That he yeah, never I, even wore them, dude. He never wore them? Never wore them. I think he tried them on. I got them for him for Christmas. He tried them on, and he didn't like oh, yeah. the way they felt. Actually, I didn't realize that one was out. <laughs> That's my Freddy Krueger costume. Yeah. I had the hand down the stairs. Is it down here? I had the hand down the stairs oh. somewhere. I just got to find it. It's got a little metal claw thing that he has. But she had it, so I was like, mm. What was there you are, madam. Yep, thank you. You guys do 10 for both controllers? 10 for both of them? Uh, I'll do 15 for both. Actually, one's broken. Yeah, go ahead. I'll do 10. That's what I thought. I didn't see the trigger. Yeah, that trigger. Yeah. $10. All right. Yours? Yeah. Yours? How much? 10 bucks. Would you do 15 on the Venoms? Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. What do you ask for? Yeah. No, that it, you'll I think have to 25, get right? 10, 15? It does work. We wrote oh, I didn't ask for the shirt. Gotcha. Take it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But my son ripped the, the plugins. Hey, welcome back to the eBay room. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we got some pretty good stuff as you guys just saw in that video. Let me show you a quick overview of everything. So here is everything that I ended up picking up today. Quite a nice little haul. We got toys, we got clothing, we got, you know, cosmetic stuff, books, we got a, we got a bucket. I'll talk about that in just a little bit, but this was all from today. Not too bad. I'm gonna start by going through the stuff from that first sale, which is the majority of the stuff on the table. It's It was just a great sale overall. I ended up paying $25 for all the stuff you're about to see. So here's the stuff from the first sale and then we'll move on from there. So I think we'll start by going through some of the clothing first. The first piece right here is a brand new with tags Adidas FC Cincinnati jersey. This is from the 2019 inaugural season and that should sell for about $40. Next over here was this vintage single stitch all over print racing shirt. I don't know what that one specifically is going to be worth. I don't know if I'll be able to find that exact design, but that stuff's hot right now. It's at least 25 bucks. Then we got this Nike Cooperstown collection, Cincinnati Reds track jacket. It's got the nice little bling bling on there and that should go for around 30 bucks. Then this one, I'm not really sure on. This is a Paris Designs uh, polo shirt and it just reminded me of the big Ralph Lauren spell out one so that's why I grabbed it the Ralph Lauren ones can go for around 25 bucks so maybe I'll be able to pull like 20 bucks out of that one not really sure just took a chance on it and then this one is pretty cool it's a dodgeball average Joe's jersey it's funny because I just watched this movie again for the first time in years and then this just comes up like two days later so that's kind of weird I just figured 
I, I'm going to grab it because that's probably a sign or something. It's got to be. I'm thinking like 20 bucks on that. And then we only got one pair of jeans, but it's a pair of Miss Me jeans. Not the best brand out there. They've started to go down in value a little bit, but depending on the style, they can still go for some decent money between 20 bucks and all the way up to $40. I'd say this one with this embellishment is probably a mid-range pair. So I'm thinking 25 to 30. Then over here was the final piece of clothing that I got. This is a pair of leather motorcycle pants. They have like the hard kneecaps in them, which is a good sign. It's a higher uh, quality sign. And the brand is Top Rider. Not familiar with it. And then over on the side, they say Nankai. So I'm going to have to look those up and see what they're actually worth. But they're in very, very good condition. So I'm hoping those are something really good. Then moving on over here, we got a black diamond climbing harness, and that's a good climbing brand to look for. This is something I'd probably pick up to sell anyways, but I have a friend who needs a harness, so this will probably go to them, and yeah, it'll be a nice little present. Obviously, I'll, I'll inspect it first and see if there's any rips or tears or anything in it. I used to be a zipline instructor for like eight years, so I know how to inspect them. And then moving on down here, got two little smalls. We got a creature from the Black Lagoon. He is from 1997, and I just threw him in because he was cool. And then there is a little Tamagotchi. If you've watched my channel before, I've talked about these, and they are worth some pretty dang good money. Some of these can be up to like 100 plus bucks. Some of them are like, you know, five, 10 bucks. So I'm gonna have to do research on this, but it is a Tamagotchi brand one. Here's hoping that it's a good one. And then I also got a couple of Furbies. You guys know I like picking these guys up. They can sell for around 20 bucks loose, but this one right here is a rare one. This green one right here is called the Frog Furby and loose, they go for about 50 bucks and he is with the tag still. So that should be a nice little pickup. But then I couldn't leave Castle Grayskull behind. This thing's awesome. Masters of the Universe stuff, I just can't pass up. My buddy Shad actually saw this first, but he's like, it's bulky. It's probably just gonna sit in my garage for a while because I won't want to list it. Completely understandable. I wasn't gonna leave it behind though. Unfortunately, the clips on the side are broken, so that's gonna diminish the value a little bit, but I'll probably sell that on Facebook Marketplace locally and probably hope to get between 30 and 50 bucks for it. Moving on down here, got a couple of books. The first thing is the Zelda Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, little pocket strategy guide. You guys know I've been selling strategy guides a lot lately, and I looked this one up when I got in the car. It looked like it was going for around 25 bucks. And then these three books down here, I have no clue about. I just figured, hey, I'm gonna toss them in because I'm buying other stuff. Maybe they'll be worth something. But these are all amulet books. All of them are from the same series. Don't know anything about them. If you know anything, let me know down in the comments. Next here are some of the electronics from that sale. I got a pair of Bose speakers. These are the Companion 2s, and I've actually sold this set of speakers before, and I think they sold between 40 and 50 bucks. Then moving on down here, got a couple webcams. These are probably not worth a ton. I figured, hey, I'm going to throw them in just in case, but they're two little Microsoft webcams. Again, probably not going to be much, maybe 10, 15 bucks a piece. This guy over here, though, I think is the best electronic that I picked up today. This is a, you can see on top, Optima. But what caught my eye about this is that it's made by Texas Instruments. And I looked up the model number, which was like PK301. And it looked like these were selling anywhere between like 40 bucks and up to 80 bucks, depending on what chords and if they worked or not. So that's a nice little score. The next one here is a blast of nostalgia, Toy Story lunchbox. This is a little plastic one, so it's not gonna be anything that's super valuable, but it did have the green army men thermos on the inside. I just couldn't leave that sitting there. There was a Where's Waldo one as well that I left there, but I couldn't leave Toy Story. That's just too cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that one, just like display it, or maybe I'll sell it. Who knows, we'll see. And then the final thing that I picked up were these Star Trek little action figures. There are eight of them down here, all brand new in the box. And these are typically something that I would pass on because they probably don't have a ton of value. I didn't look them up, but A, I was getting a bulk deal. So maybe I would be able to move these to someone local or something who's a toy collector. But here I'll run through them real fast. We got Captain Jean-Luc Picard, Commander Jordi LaForge. I'm going to mess these up so bad. Zephram Cochran, Commander William T. Riker, that was an easy one, Commander Dina Troy, Dr. Beverly Crusher, Lily can say that one, and the Borg. He's got the coolest name out of them all. But I got all those guys, they were just a throw in. I figured, hey, why not? I don't really know the value. I doubt I'll part them out. Maybe I'll sell them as a bulk. And that's all the stuff from that first sale. All of that stuff cost me $25 total. The guy just had a, an array of stuff that I looked for. And I asked him if he had an eBay store. He said he didn't. So, 
maybe he just had the stuff that I'm looking for today. Who knows? But this next stuff I'm going to take you through is all the rest of the stuff throughout the day. And this first item here is going to throw you guys through a loop. I bet you didn't know it had value. So this right here is a bucket. <laughs> this is a champagne bucket. And I bet you guys didn't know some champagne stuff has some good value. I shared it on a video a long time ago, how I sold a champagne bucket for like 200 bucks. Well, this is another brand to look for. I'm going to butcher this. Here we have our finest Moet Chandon. But this bucket right here, I have seen that name somewhere before. Don't ask me where. It just stuck out in my head. So I looked this up while I was at the sale. And it looked like this bucket can be worth up to $80 for this guy right here. There was one exactly like this that sold for a best offer. And it had a buy it now price of $80 plus $14 shipping or something like that. So this is potentially a $80 bucket. On the low end though, I'm going to call it like 40 bucks. Then over here at another sale, I got these Nike Golf Double Distance Golf Balls. And I actually got the Adidas jersey at this sale too, the FC Cincinnati one. But these guys right here are brand new in the box. I don't know anything really about golf. It's probably one of my weaker like points that I should know when it comes to reselling. But I figured for five bucks, I'll take a chance on those. And I'm hoping they're worth around 20 and then finally, the last couple of items we got, we got two PS4 controllers for $10. I gave them five bucks a piece. I didn't notice this one. I was actually missing a trigger until he pointed out when I made the sale. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have grabbed it. But hey, I already made the offer. I wasn't going to go back on it. So I paid 10 bucks for the two controllers. This one right here, the clear one is the better one anyways. And I think I can get like 30 or 40 bucks out of it. And then finally, the last item here is a pair of Venom boxing shoes. These things should go for a pretty penny. Venom is a good brand and I've sold the trunks in the past for some pretty decent money. Never sold the shoes though, but I looked these up at the sale and it looked like there were a couple pairs listed around a hundred bucks. So I paid 15 for them and I took a shot on them. I think Think they'll do well. So overall, that is a pretty solid day of sales. I am very happy with the quality of items we got and for the prices that we paid. Let me know what your favorite item that I picked up today was. Otherwise, thank you guys all for coming along with me. Be sure to go down low, hit that like button if you like this kind of content, and subscribe to my channel for more. Otherwise, thank you guys for coming out. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.